Um, hello, everybody. Uh, I am uh, Duk Jan, and um, I am a research assistant working in um, Oxford University Clinical Research Unit, OPRU. And um, today I'm going to present a scoping review that I um, um, work with um, Chris on, uh, which is about uh, digital health policy and uh, programs for hospital care in Vietnam. Okay, just a little bit of uh, the background. So uh, in the recent years, uh, it has been uh, suggested that uh, some new digital health technologies such as low cost wearable devices, AI driven CDSS have the potential to improve hospital care quality uh, in uh, low and middle income countries such as Vietnam with uh, an affordable cost. Um, however, uh, for these technologies to be uh, successfully implemented and to have sustainability, uh, these technologies should uh, fit in the local technological context and regulations. So in this scoping review, we aim to explore the policies and technological context that govern the adoption of new digital health technologies in the context of Vietnamese hospitals. Um, the method that we use here is scoping review, and we looked into uh, the two main bodies of literature, which is academic literature. Uh, we search for this literature on PubMed and Web of Science, and uh, the other body of literature is the government documents, including policies, guidance documents, et cetera. And we search on a, a local um, um, policy uh, library and um, um, on the website of the eHealth Administration of the Ministry of Health of Vietnam. Uh, and uh, we, uh, after um, searching on the databases, we found 233 papers and we started by screening that title and then the abstracts and uh, in final, we uh, included 11 papers. And uh, in general, there were few research on uh, hospital-based digital uh, health systems in uh, the Vietnamese uh, health uh, hospital context. And uh, uh, some of them are, uh, are reviews and um, uh, not many um, updated uh, uh, papers in the recent years. Uh, for the uh, government documents, we, uh, we uh, at first we found 234 documents. And after uh, two rounds of screening, we uh, included 20 documents in the final review. So this graph shows the, the times when the, the policy are put into effect by the government. And you can see that the, most of the policies uh, were put into effect since 2013 and especially in the, the last five years since 2015. Uh, so the policies address the wide range of areas. Uh, there are 11 areas such as uh, hospital information management system, electronic medical records, uh, interoperability standards. Uh, so this is to say um, that the policies address um, um, a wide spectrum of, of areas. And this is the uh, e-health architectural framework version 2.0, which uh, was developed by the Vietnam MOH. And um, so they use here like a, like a map to, to guide all of the new systems that they, they want to implement and they want to uh, have, have them in a connected uh, manner uh, through the MOH local government service platform here. And um, just to highlight some of the key policies that uh, the MOH has uh, released, uh, this is the maturity model for health information technology in um, Vietnamese hospitals. Um, and uh, here they, they set out um, seven levels of uh, health information technology or HIT application in hospital. And this can be used as a, 
as a roadmap for the hospitals to um, to um, implement and to invest uh, in their uh, technology systems. And they uh, this uh, framework got up, um, uh, features a lot of uh, domains um, in and and so that they they are when it is fully fully functional then um, um, then is is um, gonna um, uh, all of the levels are at the, the highest uh, of their level and uh, the second is the regulations for electronic medical records so before 2018 uh, most um, electronic medical records in Vietnam are just in like a pile of space and there there were no uh, really um, official uh, approval from the uh, government to, to implement these, but uh, these highlights uh, the, the regulations and standards that are required for electronic medical records in Vietnam. And uh, the government also imposed a timeline for nationwide adoption of uh, EMRs in, in public hospitals. So we, uh, so it's very interesting to see in the next few years how uh, uh, this um, plan will um, come into effect. And uh, the other uh, one um, a nationwide uh, system is the electronic health record system, which is like a longitudinal health records for every Vietnamese citizen. And this is work based, which is uh, the data collection will be carried out basically uh, mostly in uh, outpatient clinics and in uh, uh, work based clinics. So to include, uh, we can see that um, uh, although the research on digital health systems in hospital setting in Vietnam is quite limited, but uh, we can see the efforts to swiftly digitize the healthcare system from the Vietnamese government. And they want to take advantage of the latest technologies such as the HL7 Fire or uh, and other AI driven technologies and they have um, set up strategies for that in the future. But um, we, we also see some of the challenges here is that um, as Vietnam is in uh, low and middle income countries, they may have limited resource to implement these policies. And um, I think that um, it takes time to, to see you know, whether these uh, policy uh, will be really uh, successful or not. And, um, uh, in terms of um, under the uh, research perspectives, we, we also see that there are uh, unclear regulations in terms of uh, data sharing uh, or um, when you want to do uh, clinical trials in digital health technology, then the, the, the process of uh, approval is, is not uh, clear. And um, that's uh, all of my presentation today. Thank you. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, post it in the Q&A session. Thank you.